Google Drawings is an app designed to let you manipulate images, text, and shape. It can be a very useful tool for teachers and students alike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the advanced functions of Google Drawings. One of the great reasons to use Google Drawings is it allows you to create black line masters very easily. You can do this by just creating a drawing and using the shapes and the text box. Now this is really useful because you can create templates for your students and then you don't have to go in and save them as paper copies. You can just print them off right off your computer, make copies and pass them out as is, or you can even add them into other documents. So here we have uh, the start of a simple Venn diagram. So I just want to show you, I just inserted a circle and then a couple uh, word art boxes. So if you wanted to make this into a, a Venn diagram, you can just copy and uh, paste this circle and now we have two circles we'll see we'll click and just start moving it over uh, it looks about right so now we have some space in the middle uh, we have a different side the same side in the middle we can do the same with this and just copy and paste it over here and you see as I drag it it gives you these nice red guidelines to let you know that you're uh, keeping it in line with the other one so I'll just drop that right there. And now we have a Venn diagram that we can print off like this or add into other documents. Another thing I wanted to show you is it makes it really easy just to make uh, some graphic organizers. So again, just using the shapes function, I've inserted this circle for the main idea, then it's connected to the details. So this is, is just one. If you we're wanting to have your students do maybe you know a three paragraph essay or something like that uh, they make it really easy to group things together and copy and paste as a group so watch how I do this I'm just gonna drag my, I'm gonna have my mouse at the top of where I want it to start I'm gonna click and drag and see how this blue box highlights everything so uh, this is similar to the grouping function in Microsoft Office. This will group all these together. When I let go, you see it highlights everything. And I can just copy that and go ahead and paste it down here. And then move it to where I want it. And remember, this is a three paragraph essay. So I'll just paste it again, drag another one down here. And there you have it. That's uh, black line masters made easy using Google Drawings. The next thing I want to show you in the advanced functions is uh, using Google Drawings to make a student assessment. Now this is just a little uh, flyer or brochure that I created really quickly. I just uh, found a picture of a red-eyed tree frog and put some um, word boxes in there, some, some word art. Uh, the students could do this as either as the assessment itself or just to make their own presentations or PowerPoints better. So they could come in here and create some flyers like this and then they could insert them into their other documents as a picture. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. There's a couple different ways. But uh, I thought this was just a, a, a neat quick example to show you what a student could do. On the flip side, teachers could do the same uh, with Google Drawings. This is just a sample flyer. If a teacher wanted to uh, add some flair to their flyers, they could insert pictures in here, create them the way they want. And this is just a really basic one. I just took maybe like two minutes to make this. So you could probably do a whole lot better. One of the point is just to show you what you can do. Um, so this is a sample field day flyer, you know, field day, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Please bring sporty shoes and such. Um, you could, like I said earlier, you could insert this into another document or you could print this off as the flyer just as itself. The last thing I want to show you with Google Drawings is probably the most important thing and I think the coolest feature of this software is that it allows you to very easily insert these drawings into your documents that you're creating. So I found two ways to do this. Um, there may be more but I think these two ways uh, encompass everything. So the first way is uh, say you're in uh, one of your other documents and you're creating something. This is just a sample assessment about frogs from the Google Docs section. So you can insert drawings directly into the document um, if you're using I believe Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Forms, or Google Slides. I think those are the only ones that allow you to insert drawings. Um, but you just go up here and you click insert 
and then go to drawing and this actually pops up its uh, very own Google drawing window inside of your document so it's like you're kinda of doing two programs in one so it's the same uh, formatting tools if you want to insert a, a picture you just click that picture image and you can go to search and we'll do this one a frog and we'll pick this guy click select and so similar to the student assessment you could have them move this around um, get it the way they want it however they want it even insert uh, text box or word art so you could say I am a green frog and then so you can change uh, the fill color here however you want things of that nature just like I showed you in the basic functions video then when you click save and close we'll see here that it's inserted our frog uh, drawing with our word art directly into our Google Doc. The second way I want to show you how to insert your Google Drawings into your other documents, it takes an extra step, but I think this works well, uh, especially if you've already taken the time to create a bunch of drawings just within the Google Drawing software. Um, for whatever reason, it won't let you just directly insert drawings you've already created into a document. You have to do it like this. You just go to the file that you want. So this is a sample student assessment. Um, this is the picture that we want to insert into our document. And we'll just click File and Download As. And if you download it as a .jpg, a JPEG image, and we'll just go ahead and save it to the desktop. Now, if you download this as a JPEG image, you can just go ahead and insert it into your document, just like you would a regular image. So go ahead and click Insert Image. And uh, this is not in our drive. This is something that we're going to have to upload because we downloaded it to our computer. So we'll just choose an image from our desktop and this is the sample student assessment JPEG, that's the one. And after it uploads, you'll see here, here we have our picture that we made in Google Drawings directly into our document about frogs. So this is a good way for your students to uh, show you and demonstrate that they know the concepts well, and it also is a chance for them to express their creativity by editing pictures and creating some content. So these are just a few of the advanced functions of Google Drive. If you can think of any more, please send them along and I'll include them in the resource guide as well. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section and I'll do my best to reply to all of them. Thanks and have a good day.